Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist by Lexi. Today we see a really simple video in which we will try to use all the things that you can usually find at home. So in this experiment we are going to use some very common things, such as uh, aluminum tin foil that is under the for dishes, uh, and uh, uh, of course uh, some uh, muriatic acid uh, which uh, you can find uh, in uh, uh, workshops uh, and the other two uh, in supermarkets. So let's see this experiment. So the first thing that we are going to do for this experiment um, is to take a conical flask, uh, which is a bit particular because uh, of course it has an upper tracing aperture, which we are going to plug uh, in order to not let the gas which we are going to produce uh, escape from the conical flask. Then we're going to pour some uh, uh, muriatic acid into a beaker and then put it uh, into our uh, conical flask. This last one step that we do is to prepare a solution of uh, hydrochloric acid that is a gas. In particular, we uh, commonly find two kinds of solution of this reagent. Uh, the muriatic acid that is concentrated from uh, 10 to 15 percent and it is commonly found in supermarket and the hydrochloric acid solution that goes from 30 to 33 uh, percent of concentration that is commonly used to uh, lower the pH of swimming pools. But it also has a, a sideways facing aperture uh, which uh, we are going to use uh, in order to transfer our gas uh, from uh, this uh, conical flask to another recipient uh, and uh, but to do so uh, we are going to use Use a flexible tube uh, which is going to be connected uh, to this conical flask. So the next step for this experiment uh, is uh, to take a recipient, uh, which is a final recipient, uh, in which we're going uh, to uh, pour some water uh, and on, uh, then also the detergent for dishes. Uh, after that uh, we are going to take our conical flask uh, and uh, uh, put some uh, aluminium in it. Uh, remember that the uh, gas will start forming, uh, so you should put uh, the plug on, uh, the, on the conical flask uh, in order to stop the gas from exiting from the upwards facing uh, aperture in order for it to go in the sideways uh, facing one. Uh, uh, then we're going to put this flexible tube inside of uh, the uh, recipient and we will see a bubble forming. Then we're going to ignite them with a lighter or some matches and see what happens. So in the first place when we add uh, aluminum foil to hydrochloric acid, this is the first uh, reaction that happens. As you can see from the reaction uh, of an acid with a metal, hydrogen is produced that is a volatile gas and it goes from uh, our recipient uh, to uh, our uh, final recipient that contains water and wish detergent. After that, as we know, hydrogen is a really uh, highly flammable gas and so it is uh, enough uh, when, uh, to ignite with uh, uh, um, an igniter or a lighter or, or uh, anything else in order to make the, this second reaction happen, that is the combustion reaction of hydrogen that reacts with oxygen to form water.
So guys, as always, the, this experiment is over and also we want you to know that you can do this experiment also on your hands In fact, if uh, you have a layer of water between the soap and your, uh, your hands uh, you can do this because it's safety So everyone, if you like this video, let us know in the comments and If you want to see more amazing experiments like this, go visit our page and subscribe to it Thanks for watching, bitches!